Yo, what's going on guys? Sekapoko here, bringing you another 7 Listings Grand Cross video. This being over my playthrough for the first three Hell Demons on the global version. And I'm going through for all three of the demons, and I'm using different teams, of course, than uh, I talked about it previously, so you guys can see them on the global version. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, I'm using a free-to-play team. And we got over here the pay-to-win team. Do it. Free to play SR Melly! Running a scuff team? I'm running a scuff team too. Alright. So we got the full counter ready. So we got full counter up. We got one of these and one of these. Arthur's probably not going to create a bunch. Bond is work here, yeah. Like pre-patch, Bond is going to do crazy work here. Hey, Bond got hit. Okay. I wonder if he's going to have stance room on Aaron. We got defense down. Use the Jenna stance remove. There you go. Alright, cool. Got that and that. Yes. Okay, there's the Jenna stance remove. That's why she's so nice for here. For a one star stance remove. Okay. And then the, you can see that the Arthur without crits does way less damage than the Bond. So once we start critting, we're going to start seeing big differences. All right, we got defense down here. We got skills down here, so we can just save up. Okay. Now Jenna gets an attack boost here. This is kind of why we like Lizhawk is really nice for this too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And this. I got my Marmus ulti up ready now for like double turns for now. We got Arthur ulti up too. Kind of light on damage right now. That's okay. Alright, full counter. I don't think it's going to be enough damage to do here, but we, we can try to do some damage here. Nice. On the block. Alright. I'm just gonna do a quick move here. Alright, well, I'm just gonna dump on this and this, and this should be enough to kill him. Alright, I definitely wanna save the. Um... So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Marma Salty here. Oh, I'm gonna save the Marmus ulti for the final phase, actually. That would probably be best. Yeah. Alright, cool. So we ended up getting a little luck here. So I'm gonna use a 3 star Marmus defense down. I'm gonna do this and this. And he's got his Bond ulti and an Aaron. Three one downs in there. Bon ulti doing good work here. We should do pretty decent damage. Nice hundred K. All right. So next turn. Great. All right. He does have Aaron ulti here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him do the stance remove. Uh, I'm gonna let him Aaron ulti if he wants to. I'm, I'm just waiting right now. I don't know if I'll, I'm gonna save the Marmus defense skills down to the final phase. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do. 
Alright, he's doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, this, and I'm gonna save this card. This should be enough to kill this phase. Now, you don't want to rush too hard in the second phase because the third phase is what really hits hard. Alright, so we got everything we need here. This might actually kill. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that means I got defense down and defense skills down for the final phase. But I'm probably just going to use defense skills down first, and it will just forego the defense down, and I'll use the defense down in the second phase. So that it's really nice to use defense skills down on the final phase here, because defense skills down is going to make it so that the crits do a lot more damage. So I'm going to use defense skills down here, boom, and then we're going to do just multiple ulti rush here. And hopefully we'll get pretty close on the damage here. We'll see how that goes. And then we got defense down for the next turn too. Defense skills down. Melee ulti, she's only like 200k I think. Nice, not that much. Okay, 180, not bad. And then we can now start critting though for the next three turns, which is great. 70, really good damage on that ulti. And then we we still have these two here for the next few turns. Big damage on that bond, and then the iron ulti. Boom, done. Nice, 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 nice. So, free to play team and the over there team. Both of those working really well together with stance removers, saving damage, saving ultis, coordinating the cards. Very important when you're doing hell demons uh, to figure out your cards and how to coordinate them perfectly to get this done. But that's basically it. All right, so we're gonna be doing our first run at Gray Hell on Global. Uh, I'm gonna be using Broskinor, and and uh, we'll do this one. What happened? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Just dropping some frames, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why my game's dropping frames, it's kind of weird. All right, first turn, because we got double Val here, it's gonna do way less damage. Okay. Radiant of trolls, yeah. Two and three. Lightning. It's always gonna be a patience. Alright, we got one more turn of him in the air. Can't really rush my Aska ulti here, so we'll just dump some cards here. Okay, we're gonna do this, 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 and uh. Uh, we we'll save the buff. I don't need to really use that right now. Alright, it's semi important to save the Val ulties. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff here. Okay, and then I'm gonna ulti here and dump this one. Pretty sure the Iki Ma should be close to enough, if not enough. And he's gonna have Esmeral ulti up again, which is great. 
But Guild Thunder get him pretty close, not all the way, but pretty close. Great, and then we got a little damage here. Perfect, and then he gets the Iki Moss, so we have to double ulti now. Great, so now we got all ultis up for the next phase here. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to drop my Val ulti, he can drop his Val ulti, and the Eskinor ulti, and we are done. So, very fast to get Great Demon Run done if you're using Guild Thunder with Valenti. I use Attack Deer Valenti here because, you know, you don't really need HP death for this. Kind of like, whatever. Uh, so, we're going to use this right here. I'm going to go ahead and... Mm -hmm. I guess what we'll do is I'm going to do a move here and then ulti here. And that will give me the ulti part at the last thing if we don't kill him. But I'm pretty sure he's dead. Oh, maybe not. I have a lot less damage on my uh, Val on, on the level. We'll get another Eskinor ulti here. So we got Eskinor ulti, and then we get the Val ulti. And I can cleanse the, the regen here, so he's not going to have as much HP after this. And... Runs the buffs, bam, and then we'll have an Esca ulti, so he's not going to regen as much. Only regen 35k, so we're fine. Alright, so we'll ulti one of these, one of these. Right, that's it. Really fast run. Hell great, done. Uber quick. Really easy to use Escanor, just continuously rush his ultis. Really nice character for this. Awesome. It's all about ulti damage. None of the other damage parts matter. It's straight up ultis for Gray Demon. That's it. First Hell Gray done. Easy peasy. And you can see with the drops here, we're getting our cosmetic upgrades and new stuff. Cool. So I'm gonna give you a comparative value. My Dariary right now is at 15,259 attack. That is where a good Dariary is like. 13,000 is really low. My Demon Meliodas is at 4 out of 6 ulti. 15,000 with attack food is marginal. So it's, it's pretty good. It's not amazing. It's pretty good. If you're bringing something less than 13,000 for Derriere, try to bring Arthur and Escanor. It's a lot better. But if you don't break 14k in your Derriere, you're going to have a lot harder of a time in Crimson because your Derriere does like very little damage. Hopefully I get dairy cards this time around. Alright. Yeah, you got a dairy card. Cool. So we're just gonna go with one, two, and a three. Am I on 30 FPS? Or is this game just laggy right now? I can't tell. I don't know all day. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, cool. Good cards. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I got a, I got a lot of rank ups. Let me, I, I think I... I, I got rank ups too. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move this all the way over. This. This. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Not do. If I don't get dairy stacks here because you attacked first, oh my gosh. I very much hope that you don't kill him with this. Oh my god, I got a dairy stack. All right. Dairy card. I got a dairy card. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do a dairy buff here. I'm gonna do one of these and one of these. This is where you full send and you don't have any dairy. Okay. Okay, there's my dairy buff. Damn, 130k. It's an LV card. 75k. This will be like 300 something. 397, and then we get the LV to finish. Boom. Done. All right, so this is why a good dairy does really, really well, and then okay dairy doesn't really do that hard. So this is a massive difference in damage. All right, so now we're already done with the raid. What I'm gonna do is one of these, one of these, and one of these, and we are done with the raid. Raid's all done. Good job, GG. 
Crimson Demon goes really easy with a good Derriere and goes very poorly with a bad Derriere. With a mid-range Derriere, it's a lot more RNG. But with a good Derry, you clap out and do very, very well. Even with a 1-6 Derry, it's totally fine. What I mean by good Derry is a very high attack, okay? There's 1.7 million in your ulti, totally fine. You'll always kill the boss, do everything you need to do. It's all about your three-star card damage. If your three stars are doing well, you're doing great. All right, guys, my name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, like and subscribe, all the fun stuff. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.